now i will show you another validation that is unique validation actually the unique validation uh, we use in the case of database operations for example in the database there is already a field that is a name or title something like that so if you want that you will add another one then it will check if that field has the unique value so if uh, the title or name you already inserted for another entry in the database then you will not be able to enter that entry again so you will have to uh, check the validation here so in order to work with the unique validation i am going to uh, make a controller now i am going to the terminal create a controller and show you from the beginning so here you see that php artisan make controller and then i am going to create a post controller for example so post controller is created i uh, actually still did not start to show you the migration so if you do not understand in this video how to use the migration and other things then you can just jump forward and see the database and migration video and then you can just come backward again to understand the unique validation if you want okay so this is very uh, simple php artisan actually to make the database we create make migration then create here for example posts table if i do this there is one change that is in the database folder in the migrations folder a new file has been created that is this one create posts table here for example i am going to change the schema that will create in the database as tables and the table name will be posts so table here i am for example going to give here uh, text and the text field is for example title now i am going to copy and paste it and here is for example description so title and description two fields here if i want to run php artisan migrate then the database will be created but before going there i am going to my env file and set up my database here my database connection i am going to give here my db password will be root and here i am going to give a database name for example laravel practice okay so i am going to copy it and i am going to my browser now i am going to create localhost php my admin something like that okay here i will create a database now that is laravel practice okay here the tables will be created if i run a command now what command i will run that is ps partition migrate enter okay if i now go to refresh you will see that all the tables are created here one is posts table i manually am i am going to create one or two posts for example this is bangladesh is a beautiful country for example this is my post title and here is a test description for example now i'm going to paste it multiple times this is description now going to save enter so on data i have inserted into the table i am going to add another data insert and here for example in the description field i am going to put the data here and here i am or here usa uh, is the biggest country for example i put something like that whatever you want you can make it so go here and go here okay so these two items are i posted in the case of title field right now i want that i am going to check the unique validation so how, how i can do that so this is okay there is no error here i am going to close it now okay so migration also done i am going to create uh, i already created a controller that is post controller here now i am going to write my function public function then index so actually here i will create a post uh, using the index that is okay no problem i am going to web.php route and here i am going to copy another controller that is my post controller uh, that is my post controller here will be post and here i will just call another route that is a 
route which will be block post this post and here it will be post controller so post controller there index file is okay i am going to copy the store from the contact this will be similar here this will be post store for example this will be post controller and here will be a store method and here post store okay so here i am going to the here in this position and here like before copy and paste it here i am going to create one that is a post post view i will have to create now i am going to close it i will have to create a post view so in the views i am going to create post dot blade dot php from the test dot blade dot php i am going to copy the content and i am going to post it paste it here so this is actually my blog post form post create so in the case of post create form i am going to remove it i am going to remove other things from here remove this for example this is the post title i had two i have two things one is title and another one is description for example like this so here this will be text type and this will be actually the text area text area so in the text area i am going to remove the id now and here i am going to call it description and here the name will be title and the error message inside will be title and here it will be title and this will be description like this and here as a text area i will have to call the class i am going to copy this on and paste it here okay now i am going to close this one okay like this and here the text area height okay that is good this description is here and here it will be also description okay so message message submit this will be actually my post store the route that is into the post controller uh, sorry uh, that is into the uh, here post store so store is the actually the function so like the contact controller i am going to copy the code from here like this and in the post controller i am going to paste it here and now i am going to close all other items i will just keep one item so here i will validate who is i will validate on his title i am going to remove this one okay so on his title that is required and another on is description which is also required so here i give here that is description so title and description two fields that i given here on his title and another one is description so everything should work now so i am going back here and in the contact form i am going to call here the post so you see that on his title and description if i do not give anything title field is required the description is not showing why i am going to check that is description spelling i am going to copy and paste it here the spelling was actually mistake now click on submit you see that both the fields are required okay now in the title if i give anything that is okay and if i also give a title that i already inserted i am going to copy it from database and paste it here i want that the same title a person will not be able to put another time so submit you see that there is no error but i will have to give here an error and here another thing is title is here title okay the old is not here so it is not working so here i am going to do one thing that is value so value equal to here i am going to give old data so here is old and title okay now i give it here submit you see that it is showing and this is not vanish now okay but it should be an error message but it is not showing error message so in order to show error message here what i will do after required i will use an unique unique and after uh, giving the unique i will have to give the posts table name my table name is hot that is posts now if i refresh submit if i give it here submit you see that the title has already been taken it is showing so new error message comes 
that means the title which is saved into the database already so you will not be able to save the same uh, item for the next item so here you will not be able to put the same item here the similar thing you will not be able if i change it for example bangladesh is the beautiful land then if i click on submit now it is okay because this uh, title is not present in the database table so this field i just put unique so like this you can easily do that i hope you have understood what i have shown in this tutorial